and welcome back to another video so this video is just going to show you the basics of how to use an aquarium heater there are lots of different types of aquarium heaters they all technically do the same thing and that is heat your aquarium up if you've ever wanted tropical fish and you've only kept cold water fish the only difference really is one of these. So all they are is they are a heating element there, they're a thermostat there. The thermostat just regulates what they heat up to and then turns itself off, which all thermostats do. Very, very easy to use. A lot can go wrong with them, so we're gonna go through a few basics in this video as well. But we're gonna show you the easiest way of setting them up. They come in different sizes, so the important thing is to work out what size heater you want for your aquarium. So they'll go anything from about a couple of watts all the way up to like about 400 watts or so. This is a 200 watt Orca aquarium heater. Depending on where you live and what the ambient temperature is in the room, you ideally want about one watt per litre of water. And there's a huge, huge variation with this. So a lot of the heaters, like these little ones here, this is an Aquasonic, what are we, 25 watt heater. It'll say it does from 25 litres to 50 litres. So if it's a super cold room, say if you're down to like five degrees Celsius, so whatever that is in Fahrenheit on the screen, it might struggle to heat up 25 liters of water to whatever you want it at. Most tropical tanks you want between 22 degrees and 26. Certain fish will like it up to 30 degrees. These have got a full thermostat, which will range anything from 18 degrees up to about 32, 34 on most models. If you go the one watt per liter rule, generally that's going to heat it up if you live in a super super cold climate where there's snow there's ice you don't have insulated rooms you may need to go the next size up so we live in the subtropics so we go around one watt per liter and that tends to do most tanks you can add two of these heaters to one tank but you just have to make sure you've set them at the right temperature otherwise one's forever going to be overworking for bigger tanks bigger than like say 400 liters or so tend to jump to a thermostat with three or four heaters on the thermostat. I may do a video on thermostat systems later on, but this is just a basic video on how to heat a normal aquarium up. This is what is in a box. It's a glass heater. Obviously the glass will heat up. So the important thing with these is don't plug them in if you've got them out of the water. And they will all have a minimum water level on them. So that's super, super important as well. You want the glass under the water at all times. So you can have this bit out of the water. It is sealed in here. So if you get water above that, obviously with condensation of aquariums, it is not going to go into this. Over time, these cords will wear out, which is super important to replace your aquarium heater. If you've been using it for any longer than three years, chuck it in the bin, get a new one. It may last five years, it may fail at three and a half years, but anything over three years, you kind of want to replace them. So keep that in mind with any of these heaters, unless you get a super flash 10 year warranty job, if you can find those anywhere. I'm sure they exist out there or some of the companies. It's gonna come with a couple of suction caps. They are to stop this glass bit from hitting the glass itself because it's going to create a warm spot in your aquarium and that can actually damage the aquarium and it'll have a little bit on the end all that is is to just stop it from tapping or knocking on a rock and breaking it because it is a glass tube as i said before you can get titanium ones and all sorts of stuff but this is just a simple glass heater suction cup that fully under the water you can have it horizontal in the water as well you want water flow completely around the whole heater so you don't want to bury it in your gravel you don't want to have it densely behind plants where there's no circulation. So you want to put this somewhere where there's a decent amount of flow in your aquarium. Once you put it in the tank, you want to leave it off for about half an hour or so. That'll give it enough time that the temperature of the air inside the glass will be the same as the water temperature because that is where your thermostat is inside this glass tube. Once you've done that, turn it on. If it is colder than what you've got it set at, and this is the setting here, most of them will have a little dial and I'll show you a couple of the other ones as well. All they do is you turn that little dial and it's going to be roughly accurate between 0.5 of a degree. So if you've got it at 26, it could be 25.5, it could be 26.5, but on average it's going to be close to where you've got it. And you can tweak that with a proper thermometer as well in your tank. But once it is turned on, you will probably get this little pilot light come on and a lot of them have those little lights. It will heat up and then when it turns off that light will turn off as well so if you've got it set at say 24 degrees and your water temperature is 26 degrees you should not see that light come on 
super important to leave them on even in summer they are not going to overheat your tank they're not going to cool your tank down but because we live in the subtropics a lot of people turn them off in summer they're not really using any power unless it goes below the temperature you've got them set at if you don't have them on and we get a couple of storms at night that can drop the temperature quite quickly and that can stress the fish out so that is one type of heater there are quite a few different types this one here is an awazi heater very flash brand it is pretty much the same idea so these come with a giant instruction booklet in every known language it will come with a couple of suction caps a little tiny sleeve we'll call that a sleeve <laughs> suction caps push into that that slips onto that so you slip the sleeve onto that that is the heating element there that is the thermostat there that is the little pilot light this is a heat up 100 which we'd roughly use it for about 100 liters or below and that is the dial there so you can adjust the dial setting to whatever you want and i think this particular model goes up to 32 all the way down to 18 degrees ideally we would set it about 25 26 for just a standard tropical tank but if you're unsure just ask whoever you get your fish from and they'll tell you the optimum temperature so these ones are obviously in celsius but you can get fahrenheit ones depending on where you live in the world check that out that was seven dollars 75 customer gave this to me I think 10 or 15 years ago I'm pretty sure it's from the 1970s I have never opened it so I'm just gonna open this now it's probably oh I've even broken the box let's see if it is even intact oh wow I have no idea if it's been used what is living in here I don't think that's ever been used we're not going to use this because I don't know if the rubber would last after however many years old this is but this is what the aquarium heaters looked like in the 70s in the 80s I was born in the 70s I did see aquarium heaters in the 80s obviously I don't use them anymore because that was a hundred years ago that is your heating element that is your basic thermostat and I don't think they even had an LED light back then no I'm not seeing any LEDs wow and that is the dial and it looks like maybe a plus and a minus and that's it so you would obviously dial that it would heat itself up and then it would turn itself off you would hope that's an antique anyway if you like this video click the thumbs up i will make more videos like this and we will see you in the next one for sure thanks for watching